Heyo! FinCastle86 and the Big Cheese here with three minutes of genealogy wisdom about me. So I was thinking the other day, I'm making all these videos about genealogy and it might beg the question, why am I doing it and what are my credentials? Why should you listen to me pontificate about genealogical research, research methodology? Well, I've been an amateur genealogist for about 15, 16 years now. I kind of grew up with the internet in terms of genealogy and uh, have seen it develop um, like Ancestry.com and a lot of the other databases and become a really, really good resource uh, for genealogy. Uh, research, but I live in the Washington DC area. I'm a federal consultant here and so because of my proximity to the Library of Congress and the National Archives I've been able to uh, use some of the primary source material, learn how to use microfish and microfilm uh, and that's really kind of cool and I love doing that part of the research but it's becoming more and more obsolete I have to I have to say and while that's regrettable in sort of a romantic sense the fact that everything is discoverable at a digital level is pretty awesome uh, I've always lived in Virginia well most of my life I've lived in Virginia I'm a military veteran and that has led me to do a lot of research in my uh, military veteran ancestors both my grandparents were in World War II uh, I have uh, great 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 grandparents in the Civil War and in the War of 1812. A couple of weeks ago, actually, I was at the National Archives and I discovered that my four or five great 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 grandfather was at the Battle of New Orleans. Uh, he was from Kentucky. He was in the Kentucky militia, and that was uh, the last battle of the War of 1812. It was actually fought after the peace treaty was signed. Now, I, I was a history major in college, and so history fascinates me, but I didn't really know much about the War of 1812 or the Battle of New Orleans until now. And now that's kind of making that history come alive for me. One of my grandparents was in the Navy in the Pacific, and so I have a lot more interest in that topic uh, than I would have if I didn't have that kind of personal connection uh, to it. So military genealogy has been one uh, big thing that I've done. Um, also trying to prove or disprove family legends. We had myths about us descending from Robert E. Lee and John Hancock, both of which were easily dispatched. There's another legend about uh, one of my longtime forebearers uh, who apparently ran away from home. She was in this very prominent Edinburgh, Scotland family, and she ran away from home when she was being forcibly married to somebody. And so she came to America and uh, eventually settled in Kentucky and raised a bunch of kids. So uh, most of my family uh, in the past, my, my ancestors um, came from Scotland, Ireland, uh, England, and Germany. And they emigrated mostly in the 1700s and 1800s. Um, and I should also mention, I guess, the big cheese. And he's right here on my shoulder. His real name is Roger. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. He's a little bit shy today and a little bit grumpy. But he's two-year-old uh, Timina African Gray Parrot. And he's my pet. So my coffee is losing its chill. And I better uh, say goodbye. Cheers.